You may not know that you can add your own questions and answers to the Q&A section of Google My Business. And by doing so, you can get a jump on your competition. So stay tuned and I'll show you how. The Q&A feature of Google My Business is often overlooked and many business owners don't know that anyone can post questions and answers, including the owner of the listing. Now this is a great way to answer people's questions about your business, but many questions people ask go unanswered. In this movie theater listing, there are 69 questions posted and not one of them was answered by the theater staff. Many were answered by other people, such as local guides, or they weren't answered at all. Here's a screenshot from a local plumber, and you can see that these two important questions were not answered. Now, this does not look good for the business. So what are Google My Business questions and answers? Now, they're crowdsourced questions and answers for a local business. These questions are asked and answered through a business's knowledge panel. And the Q&As are a lot like attributes in that users ask questions they want answered about a business. And then they wait for an answer. And many times their questions go unanswered. So here's how to use Google My Business Q&As to your advantage. Now shoppers today often check the internet and do research before they make a purchase, whether it's an online or offline purchase. They may want the price of services, product information, or have questions about the business itself. Now, the Google My Business Q&A feature is perfect for these people, but as a business owner, you need to be be prepared to monitor and answer the questions before a random person does. Google doesn't exactly make it easy for you to find out when a questions are asked. You don't get any notifications letting you know there are new questions when you're logged in to your Google My Business dashboard. The person asking the question will be notified when they get an answer, though. So once you ask a question, you'll get a, a box like this that says your question was posted to the community, and you'll get a notification when the owner or someone else posts an answer. Now, you can create your own frequently asked questions. That's one of the cool things about the Google My Business questions and answers is that you can go in and pre-populate your Q&As with frequently asked questions and answers yourself, just like I did for my Google My Business listing. This means you can essentially create a frequently asked questions section on your Google My Business listing. This is a great idea and chances are your competitors aren't going to think of doing the same thing. If you add these commonly asked questions and answers, they will head off questions potential customers have, so you'll be ahead of the curve instead of behind. Plus, it'll make your listing look super useful to people that are researching companies and looking for products or services because yours will stand out. So, what to ask and answer. Well, a great way to find out what type of questions your customers ask is by talking to your customer service and sales team. They are on the front lines working with customers day in and day out and are the people in your company who hear customers' questions, concerns, complaints, feedback, and insights. All right, so can I get a thumbs up? People can also give a thumbs up or thumbs down on the question and answer. Now did you know that Google My Business questions and answers can show up in search results? They do sometimes which makes it even more important to properly manage your GMB listing. So when you're answering the question that come in, it can't hurt to include keywords where it makes sense. 
So keep your eye out on the Google My Business dashboard and log in frequently. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and subscribe and everybody be blessed.